Hey there, Mission Control. So today we're going to be working, continuing to work on, excuse me, the printed circuit board. Uh, what I've done is I actually have some of it connected here. A beautiful mess it is. I am uh, updating the code, I'll show you that, and actually enabling the new uh, circuit board. So today's going to be the first time we actually have software running on the Arduino here, controlling and taking sensor readings from the board here. So kind of exciting to see how that all goes. I'm going to start off by connecting the one wire uh, bus as well as the temperature and humidity sensors, which are the known sensors uh, that are digital. They don't run through the multiplexer. And then I'm going to slowly start to connect in uh, all the other sensors that go into it as well as the LEDs. So uh, going to jump in. Let's get started. I disconnected the main cable, signal cable, from the unit. The board that I made and I'm testing signals because I've tested the voltage on the board for the signals that I should have and they're there so someone told me about this feature way cool so the analog signal is good that's good that connector's good that connector's not good should have done this yesterday. Lesson learned. That one's not good. That one's not good. The one wire sensor is not good. So I was kind of inspecting these, and they're really, it's like a loose tooth on a few of them. So we're going to cut that one off, that one off. This one's good. We're going to cut these two off and redo the cable. Hopefully that's it. I've been working on this now for the last almost four hours. And I figured out the problem isn't the, the circuit board, which is great. The problem are all the cables and connectors. So all these connections here, uh, a lot of them aren't making the pro proper connection. Um, I, and then I switched over to uh, RJ45 on this one port and actually built the cable connector for it right here and discovered that I really suck at making cables. <laughs> uh, I'm not getting the crimping, even though I have the crimper tool, it's just not puncturing the cable every time. And then the tester that you use to test the cable with isn't always showing that you made the connection. So you use the voltmeter, uh, I'm sorry, the ohm meter setting, and you check it out uh, and see if it's working or not. And Sometimes it tells you it is, sometimes it's not. So I've had to make a whole bunch of test cables, which have fallen on the floor, uh, just to check each of the cables out and each of the connections. So I still have quite a few more hours to go before I'm even close to being done with this. Uh, I had really hoped I'd have this all done today and installed for you, but instead I'm still troubleshooting all these cables. So I'll check back with you in just a little bit. The good news is I figured out what the problem was with the one wire bus and now I have both one wire sensors working correctly. And it all came down to wiring and specifically um, I had a few loose connectors that needed to be done. I over crimped some. So making those cables has been a big deal. But also these particular connectors. So these are the RJ11 connectors and in the back here is where you're supposed to be putting all of the cables and you basically just feed them in here and you're supposed to be able to just punch these down and they're all supposed to be work. It's supposed to be beautiful, amazing things. Angels come down from heaven and it's supposed to be really easy. However, uh, so far each one of these that I've actually taken out and put cables back into more than once is not working and I cannot figure why. I've shoved the wires all the way back in there and they still don't want to work right. I've trimmed the wires so the copper's exposed and it still doesn't want to work right. So I really don't know what the problem is. So I've slowly been trading these out for the RJ45s and lo and behold, everything's working great. So uh, I'm on to the temperature and humidity sensor now. And I had, uh, I got these little clip uh, wires here. I saw someone using these and I said I just had to have them. So they just have a little bit itty bitty wire there. Micro grabbers, I think is what they're called. And I just hooked it on to a temperature humidity sensor that I have. And I was able to get a reading off of it connected directly to the board. So 
that means the one wire bus works and the temperature and humidity sensor bus works. So now it's on to getting the connector from outside of the system to the temperature and humidity sensor to work. Well, been a really long day, two days actually, back to back of just working on nothing but this darn circuit board. What I'm happy to report is that the one wire bus, the LED light bus for the CO sensor, or not bus, but the connectors, the temperature and humidity sensors, the digital bus, and the 5 volt and ground buses all work, all checked out, no rework required so far. I'm actually down to the point where my biggest problems have been connectors, my second biggest problem has been connectors, my third biggest problem has been connectors, then cables, and now I'm onto the mucks. So I'm giving up tonight, uh, I'm done, I'm throwing in the towel. I tried to get the mucks to operate correctly and I'm having some problems there. Some of you have suggested that I don't have the capacitors in that I need to have, so I'm going to be looking into that. Uh, but I think I should be getting some readings off it, and I can't seem to see any. So tonight I'm done. Going to go uh, have a relaxing evening with Mrs. Martian um, and get back to it again next week. So take tomorrow off, have a Sabbath day, and try to be ready for the week ahead. I hope you enjoyed this video. Lots of lessons learned here. Uh, if, you did, if you did enjoy it, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you like. Hit that little bell to the left to subscribe and you'll get notified when we put up new videos. In the meantime, everyone, this is The Real Martian. Out. Post credits. Hmm, no. P.S. I'm really tired of working inside and I cannot wait to get back outside again and actually start building and working on things. These little itty bitty electronic things are fun and all for a while, but I'm so tired of it. Spring, please get here. Bye.